Today we're going to try and build a house in The Sims, but we aren't allowed to make any mistakes. So like, if I place a roof in the wrong spot, or if I rotate a column the wrong direction by accident, I have to just leave it there. This challenge is actually a lot harder than you might think, because it's so easy to misplace an item by accident, or like, change your mind about something, and in this video, we can't do that. Whatever we place down, we're gonna be completely stuck with, and it should be interesting. I've done it a couple times before, and both times were like, complete disasters. It's one of those things where everything's going well, the house is looking great, and then and all of a sudden you make like one catastrophic error and it's just all downhill from there. I'll like place the fridge wrong and suddenly it's inside of a cabinet and no longer functional. Or you like draw the floor plan wrong and now the stairs won't fit. Like there's so many things that could go wrong. So wish us luck. I do have an inspo pick today. I picked out this house because it's kind of small-ish but the roof has a lot of room for error. But I feel like this one might at least be kind of doable for us. I'm also gonna turn on move objects immediately because I feel like that's gonna have us making a lot of mistakes. So let's just get started. Okay, so the floor plan is really tough because once we draw these walls, we can't move it. Normally I'd like build a house and then think like, oh, I might make this a little bit smaller, adjust this side. We can't do that today. I also usually start off with like one big box and then add stuff to it. But if we do that this time, then we can't delete these walls. So I can't really use that method either. I'm, I'm just gonna start drawing and then go from there, okay? I'm not sure if I want the entry to be four or five tiles. And also, now that I think about it, I'm getting kind of nervous that I put the house too far over on the lot. Like, I'm worried that it needs to be a bit more to the left. Oh well. <laughs> I guess I didn't think about it, so it's too late now. I think I'm gonna regret this. I don't think I like this. I feel like I have to do it though. Like, I feel like we've- we've drawn these walls now, so that's just gonna happen. Let's try and think about the backyard, okay? Because we want to have a nice back door and like some sort of back patio space. I think I might put like something like that, and then maybe we could have a porch. Be I guess it's happening. <laughs> oh no. We can maybe have like a porch right here. I wish that I put the house farther forward and also maybe a little bit more to the side because normally I would probably like, you know, move it like there, but we cannot. I didn't really think about that. Okay, I wanted to have a little patio right there and then also probably put it up like three high on a foundation and then we'll probably put a back porch maybe in that whole area we can have like a big back porch real quick we have to make a roof rule because obviously you have to like place it and then adjust it so i feel like i should have to adjust it all at once and then once i stop we have to stop because you have to do like all of these things in different parts so it's kind of hard to say like when did you make the mistake versus when did you just not finish yet you know so we have to just be honest and and trust the process okay i'm thinking i'm gonna use this kind of roof all the way across the building and i think i'll just leave it that height oh maybe i should have made it lower <laughs> i think it's too late now okay that's fine and then we'll put some bigger roofs like some gable roofs on all of the other pieces. I had wanted to do a gable roof like right here. Oh, I think I made a mistake. I don't think, I don't think this looks good. Looking at this again, I feel like this roof was supposed to be wider and now it's too late. So I don't know where that leaves us. <laughs> I don't know what to do about that now. Like I'll put maybe a flat roof there. Oh, this is annoying because now I want to like up that side, but I feel like I shouldn't be allowed to because now it's placed. Maybe I'll put a dormer in this. Like maybe if there was a dormer up there, it would be better. The problem is this house is like... <sighs> I think I wish that I had made it a little bit wider. Do you think it would be a really big mistake to put a roof right here? I guess it doesn't matter because I just placed it. So <laughs> it's already happening. There is a roof right there. And I think it was a mistake. Oh, there comes a point where you have to like stop adding to it. You know, like there is such a thing as it being too much. And I feel like I'm at that point right now. I feel like it's too much. <laughs> Oh no, I think I put way too many roofs. Oh my god, what am I thinking? I have to stop. This actually looks terrible. There's like so many lines happening. This is how you end up on that like McMansion hell subreddit. We're gonna be on there. They're gonna put this on there. Okay, let's just keep placing stuff and maybe, just maybe, once we add some more decor in, it'll start to feel a little bit better. Oh no, 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 that little tiny triangle is gonna make me cry. Just don't look at it, okay? Just don't look at it. I feel like I, I shouldn't be allowed to do anything to fix that either. Like, I need to be stopped. I- I can't. We absolutely cannot, under any circumstances, add anything to that to solve that problem. They've got a bunch of, like, cute little things like this. Maybe we could put some accessories around. And then generally the house is both brick and also some shingles. I quite like the idea of those shingles in a couple places. I think that'll kind of help break up the, the texture of all of these roofs. 
So I might put them there and there and maybe some in the back too, like there. Should I put it on both? I think I might because there's not a lot going on back here. And then we'll paint the house with brick like everywhere else. Okay, I think that looks nice. Maybe we could do like a, mm, don't do that, never mind. <laughs> no, that looks really weird. I was gonna say maybe like a metal roof on this piece, but never mind. We'll probably just do like a gray-ish black sort of shingle everywhere. I'm gonna put some columns around the place too. I need to be careful because last time I did this, I misplaced a column and it almost made me cry. So we can't be too speedy with our column placement. There we go. Okay, I am not loving the size of the dormer. Um, I wish it was a little bit smaller, but that's okay. Let's just put some windows on. And I'm thinking the season's windows will be good for this. I feel like they're a good size for this. Like that's really nice, right? Oh no. <laughs> oh no, I didn't think about the door. Can I use one of these big doors in the back then? I'm gonna come back to the door. I'm gonna do everything else first. Door can be last for all I care, that's fine. Oh, I placed these windows at different heights. Oh my God. All right, that's fine. You know what, pause. Oh, wait a minute. Usually I place lights everywhere and then I just change them. Like I had this instinct to just place lights like this, but we shouldn't do that this time. We should do the floor plan first and then add lights because we can't take it back once we place them. Okay, I feel like maybe this side of the house will make a good space for like the living kitchen dining area. I like the idea of there being a dining table in here because of the little like bay window. Maybe the kitchen could go back here and then we could have like the living room sort of centered in one big open plan. Let's start by drawing a wall for this bedroom, okay? And then maybe a wall for this bedroom and maybe one more so it becomes like a three bedroom sort of thing. Um, slowly regretting this, <laughs> like the placement of this square. Um, I was gonna make that into a bathroom Room, but now I feel like it's too small. So uh, what do we do? What do we do about that? What do we do about that? Um, okay, what if there was like a Jack and Jill bathroom right here in between these two rooms and then like a little tiny hall bath right here. That's not ideal, but that might be the best that we can do for them. <laughs> that might be the best that's gonna happen here. Okay, so three bedrooms, one and a half bathrooms, kitchen, living, dining. This might be okay. Still haven't picked a front door. <laughs> I've been avoiding that. Maybe I'll do the kitchen first. Oh, this is gonna take so much planning because we don't want to put like a cabinet where the stove needs to go. So let's think about this for a second. Grid wise, how much space should it take up? Or maybe more so, let's like do some measuring with tables. We want there to be a dining table in here. May uh oh, I clicked. Do I? If I let go, it's gonna place. Should I? Should I make myself place that there? Because I did. I did kind of let go. <laughs> okay, there's a dining table there now. That might be fine. That's that's close to where it needs to be. I kind of want to use this rug too. Maybe we can have it in that minty color. Do I have to keep that color table now? I didn't change the color. I feel like I should be allowed to change the color. Once I change it, it has to stay, but I didn't even get a chance to. So we'll do dining table there. The living room would have to take up like that much space now, kinda. Probably shouldn't use this rug. I mean, I could use this rug, but if I place that one, will it match? Should we just do it? I'm gonna do it. It's, um, doesn't match that well, but that's fine. I feel like I didn't leave enough space for the kitchen. <laughs> I thought I was gonna have plenty of space, but maybe I should put it in this corner instead of in this one. Okay, let's do that now. So we'll probably put a fridge like right there. I feel like the stove could go there. Then we'll do cabinets kind of like that maybe. And the door to the outside will go right there. I think that's fine. We can fit a sink. We can definitely have like a little dishwasher right here. I can probably put a window above the sink. We'll use that little door too. To be honest, I don't love this wall. <laughs> I don't think it's great, but I think it looks nice from the inside, so it's okay. I guess I also kind of like accidentally used all base game furniture inside. That's not a bad thing, but I guess I didn't really think about the color scheme of the couches or anything. I could have picked more fun ones. I feel like we could probably get like a couple really big windows on either side of the TV like this, just to have some more light in here. I'm kind of getting a little bit cocky because I'm sitting here like, hmm, I haven't made any catastrophic errors yet, <laughs> but I need to be careful because there is always time. There is always, always time for those sort of things. Even this kitchen I'm kind of thinking was an error. I wish that I had used the plain cabinets. Um, there's a lot of open cabinetry. I probably would change that now. And this corner bugs me. Like I want it to be a corner cabinet, but whatever, whatever, it's fine. Might get an extra light door. 
door, one there. We should be careful with the placement of this door because I want to make sure we have enough space. This could maybe become a full bath. Obviously it's quite small, but think like toilet sink and then if we use like the university shower, it's like a wet room. That functions, this will work just fine. You can make like a one by one functional bathroom and it works just fine. I just wish it was bigger, but can't have it all unfortunately. So <laughs> this will have to do, we can use that same shower again, honestly. Okay, I have to do something sneaky to get the door that I want. So let me show you first. I'm gonna put it on medium wall height. This is not a mistake. I just have to do it and then put it back so I can use this door. But I want to use this door. I just, I have to like unlock it first and then put the walls back. That's not a mistake. It, that's just the steps. <laughs> but I want to use that door from university. It does clip a tiny bit with the roof, but I don't really care. And I think it looks really nice. So I'm gonna keep it. And we can have like a little window right next to it, right? Something like that. That to me is like a prime spot for a flower box. That right there is gorgeous. We will definitely keep that. <laughs> You know what? And then inside, that's a good spot to have like a little table or something, like a console table. Maybe we could put a bookshelf across from it. Have you noticed that I haven't picked any floors or walls yet on purpose because I'm scared of making a mistake with the swatch of something and then having to keep it? So I'm trying to save the walls for last as like a last ditch effort to make things match. But this is coming along. It's not terrible. This is a good spot for one of those little corner thingies, but I'm a little worried that it's too close. I think we could probably get away with using it. Do you want to put this right here? Here? What color though? Like, oh, don't do that. I'm trying to, I'm trying to use the plus or minus key to change the swatch and it's not working. Um, maybe that one, the beige and the blue. I did it. Okay. I wish it was farther over. Oh no. <laughs> It's fine. It's fine. This is workable. We can get a little plant there. I really like this thing from Seasons. I think this is like a super cute table. I might try and use this behind the dining room. Is there too much furniture in this little corner? I feel like maybe kind of, but oh well. Because <laughs> again, it's too late. What if we just go all out with this brown and blue thing? Do you want to use this? I've literally never used this in my life. Let's place it. Can use a lamp maybe? I'm feeling like we definitely need some curtains on these big windows. Um... Otherwise, I'm not really sure what else to put like in this corner. Do we go for like a dark wood flooring or do we pick something more yellowy, maybe a light brown? I think I kind of like that light brown. Oh, well, I placed it. So <laughs> let's just place it everywhere. Go all out with the light brown floors. I think I might use this as a backsplash in the kitchen and in the bathrooms. And maybe we could put like the linoleum floor or something to match in there. Oh, I didn't put any windows in this bedroom yet. I need to go in and add one. Let's put it right there. Doesn't really matter where it is on the side of the house, to be honest. It can go anywhere and it looks fine. Do you dare me to pick like a really wacky wallpaper? This one's not that bad, but maybe that could be kind of a fun starting point purple. You see, that's actually kind of nice. I like the colors in here. That's pretty. And I normally wouldn't have used that. Should I size up this rug? <laughs> I mean, I've already placed it, so it's too late now. That might have gone too far with it, but that's okay. I feel like this is going really well and it's making me feel very nervous. Like I feel kind of sick to my stomach because I'm, I'm getting really scared that I'm going to start to love this house and then I'm going to just do something really silly and just completely ruin it. I was picturing this being the main bedroom, like the parents' room. I think this bed is ugly, so maybe I'll try and use it because I literally never use this red. I, I always have thought it was kind of ugly looking. Maybe I'll try and put it in like, let's just go for that one. What color is the, I guess I could use any wood color, right? I suppose it doesn't really matter. I might give them a desk in here. Desk, computer. Is that the right colored chair? That could work. We'll get a little blue desk chair. Two nightstands. Now be careful where you place them because I'm alt placing it. So don't put it in the wrong spot. I might actually use the same wardrobe as the kid's bedroom, to be honest, because I didn't really think about where to put the wardrobe. <laughs> I didn't really consider needing a dresser in here. Maybe like a big round beige rug and then we can do blue walls, <laughs> like a bluish green Wallpaper. Do you know what? This is not not my favorite room that I've ever done. I don't know why I'm choosing now to pick things that are out there and different, but I am. Oh, this is giving me some ideas. What if we use these, like the little trellis thingy? I could probably put a couple of those next to the door. That's really cute. That fills in that empty space pretty well. And maybe I could put one of those matching flower boxes from the front too. I feel like that's nice. We'll come back to that. We'll figure out the back. I think that painting actually looks quite good with the bed, doesn't it? That's all right. This room all right. It's growing on me. I was very initially put off by the color of the bed, but it, it grew on me. And maybe this room could be shared by like two teens or something. Let's use like this wallpaper as a starting point for the color scheme. Does that pink one match at all? 
Or should I try and match like this minty? Let's try and match the minty color to it. This was poor placement of the beds. <laughs> now that I think about it, I feel like I should have done them maybe underneath the window or something. Cause now like what's gonna go there underneath the window? I didn't think that through. We can have a little nightstand. Maybe we could do a dresser over here. Oh, actually maybe they could have a desk like straight across from the bed like that. We'll put it with pink chair maybe. I'm not sure about rug choices that aren't gonna clash with the existing furniture. Cause we already put in so many colors in here. Oh, we could do this. <laughs> Just really embrace the polka dots. Oh my, that's an idea for sure. <laughs> what if there was just like a fuzzy white rug? I feel like they would probably like that and then it matches the wall. Maybe if there was a mirror right here, what if we put like some makeup on the floor next to it? Oh, posters are a pretty good idea too. Maybe like the boy band posters. Should I just put them there on that wall? All right, we have to be careful about the placement of this because I'm worried about like not being able to move it. So <laughs> I think that turned out okay. And honestly, maybe some like mess on the floor, something like that, that might, oh, is that clipping? Oh no, <laughs> the backpack's clipping with the desk. Oh well, I didn't see the line there. I thought it was just like the two leg, but like some mess on the floor could help too. I'm trying to pick some like kind of cutesy items like lamps and, and these little things. Maybe they could have a laptop and that room might be done. We're not completely done yet. Like we still have a lot of things we need to play. Oh <gasps> no. <laughs> Wait, look. No, I even thought to myself, like I should be careful so I don't place anything on the wrong wall by accident. There you go. That's our first catastrophic mistake is this wallpaper is messed up and now I can't change it. But I was just about to say, we need to be careful because we're almost done with the furnishing. So we might be able to like scoot through without anything really bad happening. I might try and get a thermostat because I always forget about those. Oh. Oh, I was looking at it from like a different angle. I didn't realize that filled up the room so much. I wish that I hadn't placed that rug. <laughs> okay, well that's there now, that's too late. There's like this pile of mail that could be fun by the door. And then we could do like some umbrellas or something too. Is it weird to have the same lamp twice? Cause I didn't realize that I had just done that either. <laughs> I forgot that I used it in the dining room. I was decorating from like this angle and then I turned the camera and I was like, oh no. <laughs> I did that already. Oh well. Okay, so we've got a lamp there. I feel like this corner is quite empty. I just don't know what to add into it. Do you think it's too tight for a chess table? No, I don't think anything's ever too tight for a chess table. You can always have a chess table as far as I am concerned. The chess table will always do. I don't like the colors of it, but <laughs> that's fine. I don't, you know what? It's fine. Now the question is, do we paint the walls like beige? I know I already started, but maybe because there's so much blue furniture. Why can I just never build anything but a blue suburban? Like why is that impossible for me to avoid? Despite my best efforts, like this is all you ever get from me. I think we managed the interior with like very little mistakes. There's definitely some things that I would like to change. And of course this is gonna make me want to cry, but I feel like the interior is pretty much okay. Let's try and landscape it. I'm kind of trying to think because I almost want to like, well, I guess I've already done it, but I kind of want to like fill in the front yard a little bit more by doing something more with the sidewalk. Cause this is like way farther forward on the lot than I would like it to be. And then we can hopefully use a little bit of fencing in the backyard to kind of, ah, uh, I don't want it to be like that. I hate this. I hate how there's just like one piece there. I wish that I could place the like pillars myself so badly. Should I like draw it all the way up? I guess that's too late. I already did. Maybe I could put like a fake back gate or something too. Okay, there we go. Very odd little fence, but at least it's the right height. At least it like kind of lines up. Should the deck be wooden too? I mean, I guess I already placed that as well. <laughs> so I guess it will be. And then maybe we could put, oh, that lines up pretty well though, because the, the fence post is right there. So maybe that worked out really nicely by accident. And we can get like a really big tree in the backyard and then maybe a couple smaller trees up front. I feel like I already placed that one. So now I have to keep it, but oh, it's clipping very slight. This is what bothers me so much. It's like the slight little tiny clipping. I would usually just rotate it a tiny bit, <laughs> but I feel like I shouldn't be allowed to. <sighs> I would usually scoot this forward a tiny bit too, but I won't, I won't. You know what? Maybe now is the time to just go back to our roots. Um, I don't think I placed that very well. <laughs> What, should I put another one or something? We'll just go back to our roots with like the classic Simsy landscaping. On a day where you aren't allowed to make any adjustments, that's not the time that you start like switching things up, okay? Now is not the time for change. Let's make sure we don't forget a mailbox. And we also need some lights by both the doors. Wait, I just tried to move that one and I can't. I forgot that I can't. Okay, that has to stay there. Um, it's not as natural looking as I normally would have liked it to be. <laughs> wait, 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 pause, pause, pause. We need to get like some other bushes 
bushes. Like something like this. We need to do some filler with bushes. Otherwise, there's not gonna be enough plants to fill it all in. I feel like this is just not my finest work, <laughs> to be perfectly clear with you. This is just not like, oh no, 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 wait. <sighs> I should have placed that like there. I didn't realize that I had it a quarter tile off. Why do I have quarter tile placement on? On a day where you're doing a no mistakes build challenge, Simsy, that is a horrible idea. This, this is, no, oh no, okay. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest with you. I'm, I'm well aware it looks bad, okay? You don't need to tell me, you don't need to tell me. I know it doesn't, this, it, there's just like plants everywhere. That's, <sighs> I feel like I've started to fall apart here at the end as I'm doing the final placement. I feel like it's really started to mess up. Okay, we need to be careful about terrain paint too because we can't erase it if we think it's bad, but I wanna go in and add a little bit of dirt underneath all of this just to hopefully like blend it in a little bit better. Same thing under the tree. I like to put a little bit like around the path too, although that might be a little bit too dark. Oh well, maybe we could put like some of these little flowers in in just a couple places. That's an idea. We can fill out this a little bit more, get some underneath this. All right, and lastly, we need to go in and put a little bit of furniture. <gasps> right at the end of the video. Look what I just did. <laughs> oh my God. I do that all the time when I'm placing tables because you think it's slotting. You're looking at it from this angle and I put it in the wrong spot. <laughs> it was doing so well. Okay, chair randomly floating. That's fine. We could probably put like a bike up against the wall there. Is that clipping in the wall too? Oh no, no, no. Okay, I need to start being more careful. I really am falling apart here at the end. Maybe I should just stop. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we should just stop. I say that as I keep adding in more stuff. I like keep going and doing more terrain paint. <laughs> no, I was gonna put a pool. That would have been a mistake too because there's not enough space. I'm gonna, I'm gonna stop. This is, it's done. It's done. It's, it's like roofs galore. I do like the color scheme on the outside. Um, the landscaping is, is causing me pain. It is. I don't want to look at it anymore. I'd like to stop now. <laughs> we did all right though. As far as the interior goes, there were only a couple things that, you know, weren't great. Like for example, once we had placed this, I kind of wish that I could have scooted it over a little. Like just in general, if we could have scooted over all the furniture, it would have helped because it feels like everything is very tight over here and there's like kind of some open space over here. Just like one tile would have helped. Oh no, no, wait, I placed a wallpaper in here by accident too. Oh, and there's a couple wallpaper mishaps as well. We've got a couple of those around the place. And this rug, I like that was kind of a, a mess up. I don't know, it's, it's like fine. <laughs> it's not great. I also wish that I would have changed the, the furniture in the living room. I feel like picking the white base game couches was kind of eh. I liked this rug. I wish that we had kind of gone for more of this color scheme but oh well. If you liked this video, I have done a couple of these no mistakes build challenges before. The last one was like a more Victorian style house, so the roof was really complicated. I'll link that for you down below. And if you like Sims videos and Sims builds, I make stuff like this literally every day here on YouTube, so feel free to subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. Have the best rest of your day, and I'm gonna catch you all tomorrow, okay? Bye, everybody. Do you know what though? The brick with that shingle as an accent color looks really nice. We should probably try and use that again on like an actual build, on a better build, because it looks really good together.